In League of Legends, when a champion dies, if any opposing champions have dealt damage to it within 10 seconds, they will be granted either a kill or an assist. A champion must be the last one to deal damage to the target in order to get the kill benefits. The gold benefits of getting a kill can range from 15 gold to 600 gold, depending on the champion that dies. This is because each time a champion gets a kill or dies to an enemy champion, the amount of gold they grant to an opposing champion on death changes. The way this works is as follows. On a champion's first death or kill, they are worth 300 gold. For every kill up to the seventh kill, a champion's gold bounty increases by 10%. On the seventh kill, a champion's gold bounty becomes 500, which then remains the same on the eighth kill as well. After reaching nine or more kills, a champion will then be worth 600 gold. Deaths are much less complicated, though. On a champion's second death without getting a kill, their gold bounty is reduced by 9%. Every consecutive death after this one will reduce their gold bounty by 21%. This amount cannot go any lower than 15 gold. Also keep in mind that the first kill of the game will grant you an extra 100 gold. This is called first blood. That's it for how gold works regarding kills. But what about assists? This is actually even simpler. Whenever one or more champions get an assist, a new amount of gold equal to 58.33% of the killing champion's gold is split among the assisting champions. Here's a quick example demonstrating assists. If Ryze kills Teemo while Fiddlesticks and Ash receive assists, if Teemo granted Ryze 300 gold, the following happens. Since 58.33% of 300 is about 175 gold, Ash and Fiddlesticks will each receive about 87.5 gold each. Keep in mind that Ryze doesn't lose the 175 gold. New gold is created for the assisting champions. Because of this, it is always more beneficial for a team to have a kill with an assist than a kill with no assist at all. Now that we've covered the amount of gold received from a champion killer assist, let's move on to the experience points gained. For starters, it should be noted that unlike gold, there are three ways to get the experience point bonus of a dying champion. Either getting the kill, getting an assist, or being within 1600 range of the dying champion. Also, unlike gold, no new experience points are created whether there is an assist or not. The amount of experience points the dying champion grants are split evenly among every champion who gets the points. The amount of experience points granted is decided in the following way. The amount of experience points needed for the dying champion to level up is multiplied by 0.75 and distributed among the champions evenly. For this reason, the higher a dying champion's level is, the more experience points they will grant upon death. Keep in mind that the values have nothing to do with the dying champion's current progress to leveling up. Only their level matters. A level 1 champion will always grant 75% of 280, a level 2 champion will always grant 75% of 390, etc. This concludes this episode of Walt Math. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of Wall Math, feel free to post in the comments section underneath this video. Also, check out the previous Wall Math video by clicking on the annotation on the screen. Thanks for watching.